Hi. So to make the little snowman, uh, you I showed you we have a styrofoam, we've got rebar for the leg, um, it's a big ball for the body. Uh, I've got a playground ball for the head, it's a Nerf style, and paintbrush that the, <laughs> the bristles came off, so that's what's going to be. Um, I don't know what this is called, but it's a little conduit wire, it's, I don't know, it's got copper wire inside of it. Anyway, that's the arms. So what I'm doing is the paper mache part. So as you see here, I just got the body already started where I'm dipping my disposable um, cloth cleaning wipes right here. I love these because they're they're stretchy, they're strong, uh, they're cheap. <laughs> That's me. And so um, all I do, again, we're just going to layer. So this is paper mache um, processes, but we're using the fabric handy wipes and we're using the cement. So all this is, is a mortar mix mixed with water and I'm just dipping this right in. If it gets a little stiff, I just add a little bit more water and, and stir it around. And you'll just continue this process until the entire thing is covered in your handy wipes. What's great is these will stretch and mold. There we go. Just like so. So I'm just going to continue this process. Um, and when I get them all covered up, we'll move on to the next thing. So that's enough for today. I've got them all covered in the handy wipes and cement mix, paper mache style. I haven't finished the base yet, but we'll get to that. I've got other things I need to get to today. But here he is. This little fella is going to be ready for Christmas. Little snowman. All right, here we are with my little snowman. He's been uh, outside, he's been drawing. I just did a really light sanding on him to take off most of the rough edges. And now I've made up my cement clay, which I will put the recipe to in the description here. And now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and put that little coat of clay over him to smooth him out and give him a nice finish. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint him white or if I'm just going to let him be the natural color of the cement. I always kind of figure that out later as we go. So there's really not much <laughs> I need to talk about in this process. We're just going to add the clay and smooth with water and uh, move on from there. I'll be putting some little, you see I've got his shoes on him, but I need to put some mittens on here as well. So we'll see how much we get done today before I need to do something else. Got my little bowl of water here so I can wet my fingers. I'm adding some uh, cement bonding adhesive to this water. This is going to, I'm gonna paint this on. This is going to help the second, the cement stick to this little guy. So we're gonna just do a quick coat of this. It'll soak in.
So we have them all coated with the cement clay. Look at that. Pretty fun. He's looking up there at the snowflakes. So our next step is to uh, let him let him dry, and then I'm going to come back in and put some details on him. So this is where I will add like a little heart to his chest. I'll fix all of the little um, details on his boots, all the details on his gloves. So that might happen tomorrow. He needs to set and dry a little bit. Okay, we're back at it. Um, here we are with our little snowman. I've made up a nice batch of cement clay and we're going to, I'm just going to add like the details to his boots and to his mitten, a little heart on his chest and a little scarf, a knitted scarf of some sort. So let's see what we can get done today. So as we're getting ready to apply um, a fresh cement to a dry cement, we want to, of course, use water. And in your water, you could mix um, some PVA glue, so just white school glue, or you could use um, an acrylic bonding, concrete bonding adhesive, acrylic fortified. That's what I've got here. So. Um, Again, either one, just white school glue also works for it too. So it's just to help the new cement stick to the old cement. So we're going to get this wet. He's got, he's got shoes. I love shoes. I just do. And I like these shoes. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Woohoo! <laughs> All
I'm back today, this evening. We went out to dinner. I'm <laughs> so you got an idea. It doesn't matter how you're dressed. You could be in your going out to dinner clothes and you just got to get out here. <laughs> Anybody else do that out there? You can let me know. So I had the thought, this little snowman, he's, he's telling me he needs a hat. So I'm going to put a little stocking cap that's hanging down there like that. And so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take these handy wipes, this one sheet of handy wipes, and I've wet it. And um, now I'm going to dip it in some mortar mix. This is rapid set. Of course, everything I do is rapid set. <laughs> so we're going to dip it in the mortar mix, coat it all up in this mortar mix, and uh, and then we're going to apply his hat because he's got to have a hat. So here we are. You could really use about any fabric you wanted. Um, this is just what was handy for me. And so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to completely coat it with the cement. fashion it into a stocking cap. All right, let's see how we do here. Not done this before. <laughs> You're almost always seeing me do things for the first time. <laughs> okay, here we go. You know, I'll tell you if it doesn't work out, right? So, uh-oh, I forget. Gotta get him all wet. We're going to go ahead now and put the scarf on. So again, we're going to dip my handy wipes into the cement. Do the same thing. It's all the same techniques that you've seen me do before. Whoever came up with this dipping fabric in cement idea a while back was genius wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know if I have an entirely creative idea. Pinterest is great. All right.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, I just can't. I, I'm so excited. He is turning out. Look at this. He's he's like got personality and everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to get him painted. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, what do you suppose he's looking at? <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> When, when I was out here in my work clothes, not my going out to dinner clothes. <laughs> Remember, and I said, oh, we're going to put a scarf on him and, and then he'll be, then, then he'll be done. And just going out to dinner with my husband, talking about this piece. I said, you know what? I think he needs a stocking cap. He just does. And my husband said, oh, that's the deal. That's what needs to finish him off. So here we are. Husband's inside, sound asleep, <laughs> and here I am out here <sighs> in my going out to dinner clothes, <laughs> playing in the mud. <laughs> we'll come back to him in a day or two, and we'll get him painted up. <laughs> All right, we're in the last stages of this little snowman right here. I finished up the base using cement all to finish covering the rest of the styrofoam. And then I put a coat of white paint and then highlighted with some blue and some glitter paint. And now I am beginning to do the rest of this. So I'm doing a priming coat on all of the accents. So his nose, his eyes, I'll do his hat. I've got the little heart on his tummy. I'm going to do his shoes. So I'm going to put a primer coat of white paint on all of those items. Um, but I'm not going to put one on the snowman's body himself. So his head, his tummy, his legs, arms. Um, my thought is, and this is where I'm struggling. <laughs> my thought is I only want to paint the all of the little accents here and leave the snowman himself the cement color. That's what I think I want to do. So I am only going to paint the accent pieces right now, and then I'll see how I like it. And if I like it, I'll leave it. If I don't, I'll paint the snowman white too. So, and it'll probably be a cream white, not a white, white, white. So um, just be a little bit different. So anyway, I'm just gonna get in the mode here and just paint. I'm not going to give a lot of instruction on painting. If I have any tips, I'll give those to you. Otherwise, I'm just kind of in the mode <laughs> painting. That's what I do. What I'm using now is um, acrylic and latex paint. Sometimes I mix those together. I can get latex paint a little bit less expensive for larger amounts and I can mix the acrylic paint in with it uh, to give it a little more uh, stability and longevity and he will be um, also he'll be sealed and he's not a character that's going to be outside for long periods of time, right? And so he's a decoration for the holidays. And if somebody really loves him, they'll bring him in the house for the summer <laughs> so he doesn't melt. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're just going to get into this painting now.
Here he is. I don't know. <laughs> He's awfully cute, isn't he? I just don't know yet if I want to paint him white or leave him cement. I'm leaning towards leaving him the cement color. I like how it looks. But I'm going to have to live with him for a few days and see what I want to do. But there we go. There's our little snowman. I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. I hope I gave enough information that you could go out and try one of these guys too. Or maybe your own creation. I'm always excited to see what you're doing with the videos that I'm sending out. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me hear from you, okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.